All right, Dearman serve. Welcome back to Los Caballeros Sports Village, Fountain Valley, California, and the very first serve is an absolute laser from Dermot Nash, who's going up against Luis Moreno. And our referee gives that first point ace to Dermot Nash. One serve zero. Luis Moreno said it slid, but David, the one thing that Nash does is that he has this sort of hinder serve over on that yeah. left wall, and the referee is sitting in such a position that he'll never call it. And oh. look how far Luis Moreno has to stand just to see the serve. I refereed Nash against Nadi yesterday and stood in that, that spot that Dane is in right now. And I only called one screen on that serve down the left in the entire match. Nadi would have liked have, for me to have called more. But being a lefty, Dave, I, I know what he's trying to do. And unless the ball is really close to him, I don't think it's a screen. Yeah, but we'll wait here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. And we're not going to see it here. Side so out. Let's remember that screen. I want to show you something on this on the screen that makes might change your mind. Okay. okay. But you know, you I might at, be wrong, but I think it might change. You your look mind. at right-handed players. Sean Lenning stands over there on the right, and he serves it right down the right. And no one's ever even questioned it. For some reason, they're not used to seeing it down the left, and it, they think it's a screen. Well, next time. Nash serves. I'll give you two things to look at. Okay. We heard Dave Martina McMahon saying that she thinks Dermot Nash has the best return of serve in the game, and I agree with that. He neutralized Naughty's serve yesterday. Naughty unable to get anything One going two. on his serve, and that's because Dermot has this amazing ability to flip the ball around the walls, and there's the announcer's curse. Notice how close Dermon stands to the short line to return this. Have two, you seen anyone two. stand that close? No, that's and against Moreno, nonetheless. He did Short. that against Nadi also. He's up there at the restraining line, which is at about 25 feet. Well, he's actually about eight feet behind it, but maybe because of the second serve. Yeah, on the first serve. Perfect spot there. Now watch here. If we can have Chris Garad center on that right side camera looking at Two, serves two. Nash from the right camera. That's the left. We'll do it here in the next one. Should have alerted these guys a little earlier. But if we can, this camera here. Okay. Can we watch the whole match from this camera? Three, serves two. <laughs> but watch here. Luis is having to, first of all, that was step number one, is looking at that serve from that Second angle. Serve. And then Luis has to bend his head to the left to kind of look down that lane. Now, if we can look at camera down at the bottom right again. Four serves two. Let's see if there's a screen here. I was really impressed with Nash's second serve, the Z serve, which gave Nadia a lot of problems. And you saw it already gave Luis problems here. Five serves the two. The only time he's hit it. The score here is five to two, I believe. Dave, I know that you saw a great interview with Dermot Nash on the GAA website just last week. And you can see how much this game means to him. He said he's here for the titles. The doubles is great, but he wants to win the singles. Just talking to him briefly yesterday, Dave, you can see the focus that he brings to this event and all the events he plays. Two serves five. That's a, I thought it was an overhit, but it wasn't. Our referee is Dane Zatkowski from Chicago. It's interesting, Dave. Dermot Nash has drawn Luis Moreno multiple times, Emmett Bichot multiple two. times, but he's never played Sean Lenning, never played Mondo Ortiz. Short. Second serve. I don't know what Moreno was doing there. Okay. 
Moreno should tee off on that one, does. Hits Great that shot. side wall and gets the side out now, serving at two to five. Darman Nash definitely looks more crisp. Two serves five. Early on here. He looks like he has a plan. And that's that amazing serve from Luis Moreno. Two aces out of Luis's three, three points. Three serves five. Well, he's not going to win the match on aces, but his first strike after a good serve could drive him through it. Two bounces, two bounces. I like that no call there from a referee. Could have been called a hinder after the first bounce, but the referee knew he was in a bad spot. Yeah, if he called it a hinder, if you didn't call it a hinder and, and Nash was going to try to run up Four, there and get that sir, ball, five. he would have, it would have flubbed it or yeah. not. He swung and missed. Referee Short. knew it was an impossible shot to make. It's the kind of shot when you're playing the Luis, you say, well, yeah, you were kind of there, but I wasn't going to get it anyway. It was just too, too fast. And Luis gets a double fault long ball on the second serve. And Luis has more double faults than any player on tour. He averages 1.6 double faults per match. The race for eight average, Dave, is under 0.2 double faults per match. So players will double fault only once every five matches. He's double faulting over more than one and a half times per match on average. In fact, Dave, in Idaho, where stats weren't kept because it was a pre-race event, Luis Moreno double faulting four times against Sean Lennon in the final in three games, yeah, including the first serve serves of the game four. straight into the ground and then in the tiebreaker again. Is that a lack of focus, or what would that be quantified as? Well, I think you explained it one time, Dave. Heads up. That's almost impossible to do. Yeah, I, <laughs> I can't see many players doing it. That's like hitting one on Waveland Avenue. Well, that's not even an error you would it? make in three wall right. without a back wall. Replay. Yeah. Hey, out of play on. But, you that's know, Dave, replay. you said he swings so hard and trying to Six, put so much reverse or natural on the ball that sometimes it just comes off his hand wild. Maybe he doesn't catch it right in the right spot, and from there it can go anywhere. Almost like a Tiger Second Woods serve. drive. He goes up there and swings as hard yeah. as he can, and it goes. Well, he hit a fist shot perfect. on that one, and, and Luis is one of the only players in the sport that will actually try to hop a fist by spinning his wrist and slicing the ball, and he tries to slice it while also hitting it 90 miles per hour. So that's sometimes you just uh, hit one off a knuckle Four doing that. Four six. Four to six is the score here. Short. And you saw after that last rally, the referee really looking closely at the players to see Second if serve. anyone would react over what could have been called a hinder call there. Sometimes you have to do that as a referee. It's like, ah, uh, this could be a hinder if he, uh, you know, if he yeah. argues. And look at that inside out paddle, which is kind of a signature shot for Darmit. Really impressed with Darmit's ability four. to play the corner pinch shots. Watch he this just right has here. an amazing read on them. You know, Nash may win this rally here, but you can see that Nash is doing what a lot of us do do against Luis, and that is having to run all over the court and having to react with these paddle shots. And that was a beautiful pass shot at the very end there from Nash, but you see Moreno had dictated all that traffic until that last couple shots, and then Seven Nash took it over. Four. I think Nash plays the in-between game better than anybody in handball. He can put himself up in the front court and used your pace against you with amazingly controlled paddles. You're saying screen or a slide? I'm going to call that a point, but I'll watch for it. It was close, but I'm going to call that a point. That actually hit the side wall, so I don't know how that's... It couldn't be farther away from being a screen. Eight serves four. Short. Okay, these two have played three times, Luis Moreno winning all three. One in a tiebreaker. Second serve. The other two in straight sets. Two of those matches on this court. Wow. Luis hit that as about as hard as he could. Now, you remember last year, Derman Nash suffering with some food poisoning. Uh -huh. Really wasn't anywhere near his best. Well, I think right now he's at his best. Yeah, I agree, and I think he'll be very motivated here to erase what happened last year when he really Good. couldn't play anywhere near his potential. 
Luis breaks over the top of that ball around the revolving door. Goes so far over the top, the ball just flattens four, out. It looked eight. like it was a skip, but we all saw it hit about four inches high. That's how much spin that Luis put on that ball. And then he loses that one and almost made it to the front wall. Should be five or six. Five, I believe. Five serves eight. Sixty percent of Luis's points coming on ace serves. Yeah, that, you're right. And as we know, Dermot, one of the best returners in the game, but he's not going to score 15 points on A serves per game. So he's going to have to figure out a way to win points five. when he gets into the rally because he may get six or seven aces, but that's not going to be enough to win the game, not at this pace. Well, there's an ace there. As you said, <laughs> he's not going to score any. Dermot also with three A serves. Nine serves five. And oh. that's an amazing shot. Dave, if you're a handball fan that maybe you haven't watched pro handball in the last 15 years and you just sat down in the gallery right now, you would say Dermot Nash five. is the guy you would pick to win this match. Yeah, Pretty look convincingly. Look at this. No, it's an amazing shot. As a lefty, do you appreciate that? I love it. Super slow-mo brought to you by Simple Green. Dermot Nash, serve. right hand, right corner kill. Two times the points of Luis Moreno here. Love the pace of this match, Dave. These guys are just... In their playing, there's no breaks. It's no great towel timeouts. It's, yeah. it's the same court. It's the same ball, and yet we're at 10 to 5, and it's only five, six minutes. That's, it's been really refreshing. Refreshing handball to watch, yeah. Much like the weather out here, Dave. Much like me and you together in the same room having wow. a conversation. Wow, it's, it's, it's so amazing. refreshing. Yeah. Screen ball. There is the screen ball call. And, Dave, you have to admit that was a screen, right? I mean, to me, that was. I'm not going to admit anything. I like this Z serve from Dermot Nash. Serves, one screen. I think Dermot thought it was a, a short. Yeah, now he gets to go back to that screen serve again. Love this angle. Wish we could see it more. Short. Oh, that was close. And we will see this Z serve, Second which serve. I think he hits at about 60%. Had a chance to talk to him about this very serve yesterday after his win against Nadia Alvarado. We'll get into that. I know you're interested. Yeah, I want to hear what he has to say. And Luis does another little crazy dump, re-kill attempt that doesn't make it. Another point now for Nash. Now back to this. serves five. This serve here. How hard as a left-hander is it for you to crack that ball also in front of you like this? Because that's what Nash is going for. Yeah, it's very difficult. When he does do it, the ball just seems to practically stop. But on that Z serve, talking to Dermot Nash, he said he likes to hit the Z serve with this heavier ball because he doesn't have to hit it as hard and he can get it to check Five serves parallel well. to the back wall when he gets it back there, as opposed to playing with a lighter ball where he feels like he doesn't have as much control, has to hit it harder, and the ball doesn't come off the way he likes it. And look at that right-handed right corner kill. And Dave, you're a Z-serve guy too. Well, I'm not because it doesn't work against the top. Mine doesn't work against the top players, so I'm learning from... 12 well, serves he hits five. His, uh, higher than you hit yours. You hit he yours. hits it softer okay. and with a different spin. And, right. you know... You don't think too much about the spin on a Z serve because you think, well, it's hitting the side wall anyway, but you do have to have the right spin on it because when it hits the front wall, if it doesn't have the right five. spin, it'll either die or, or check up too quick, and now it's not an effective serve. But then again, he has a different swing than the American swing. He does a little bit of an underarm type of thing. Wow, and now Moreno's just falling apart here. I mean, I just didn't expect this at all, Dave. No, but that just shows you just really how good Nash has become. Well, I think really the whole Short. Irish system, Dave, it just seems like the gap is widening with each tournament. We saw at the World Second Championships serve. the Irish won every match against the Americans. They were the four semifinalists, and based on what we've seen here in the first match and a half, you almost have to think it's going to be a replay of that. This looks very much like Emmett Pichot against Robbie McCarthy in game one. 15, serves 5. Well, it is, basically. <laughs> Minus the towel timeouts and Green ball. arguing with the ref. Shirt changes and glove changes. Two serves, one screen. More arguing. Short. Appeals. Well, you know, when one guy is soaking wet and diving on the floor for balls he has no chance to get. Second serve. Obviously, you know. 
Boy, we really do get to see a lot of crazy sights and sounds here. Is that real hair? Screen ball. It's a screen ball. 15 to 5. Two serves. 15 serves 5. Would you have predicted this score? I, I just don't think so. I mean, sure. Look at that serve, Dave. Up. No call from the ref. Hold it. But he calls it there. I think that's the right call there. Gave him the shot that he won. I think we should have put that away. 15 serves 5. That's close there. Nash is dangerous up front. That's it, Luis. And boy, Luis really pushed Nash around a little bit on that, that rally. But does Luis have a problem, do you think, over the years of watching him tracking his results? Does he have a problem Five, of trying to win 15. the match in one rally? You know, just trying to go out there and say, I'm, I'm going to give you everything right here. And then when he sees that he doesn't make it, he just does, doesn't try Second to grind serve. like you well, see Nash. Nash is a grinder. Well, I think it's more so trying to win the match with a big spurt early in one game. Usually you see him jump out to a huge lead in the first game, almost like he's going for a Mike Tyson knockout. But you play against these Irish guys, and they'll withstand that kind of onslaught. You saw what Killian Carroll did, trailing 16-3 to against Moreno Six at the 15. World Championships. Looks like he didn't even belong on the same court, and he ends up winning the match. Yeah. And actually, we knew it <laughs> with that comeback that Killian had in Game 2 that he was going to win. Well, he did show signs of life late in that first game, and you got the sense that, you know, we're in for a match now, and we were. Killian won that match 11-9, a tiebreaker. That was right, right now. Uh, Fly ball. Moreno is dictating the traffic, and you can tell there is a difference. Moreno, if he can play like this starting the match, I think the score would be different. Unfortunately for them, play was stopped because of the slide ball. And it, it slides here. It's this ocean weather comes off of the uh, Pacific. Six serves 15. And then it heats up really fast out here. It's a lot of cloud cover, a lot of fog, and then all of a sudden it's 80 degrees in just a matter of moments. And if you ever watch Bill Nye, the science guy, I did not see a slide. you know how you that precipitation you works, Dave, and then you probably yeah. don't need that explained. And now right. we see leaf blowers in the court trying to make it better. Mm -hmm. Will that make it better? No. Okay. They're just pushing it Seven to another 15. spot on the court. Mm. It'll definitely not make it slide where it just slid, though. So maybe if they pushed towards the back, because you're not going to see a lot of balls hit deep in the side wall, not nearly as many as that would hit in the middle of the side wall. And Dave, if Dermot is saw complaining. I no slide. Did you see a slide? No slide, no slide. It's a point. There's a crack. And Dave, Dane Sakowski, best hair in the business. I think that's well, pretty obvious. Well, I thought obvious. Tom McGrath had the best hair I've seen. But I, I agree with you. Look at this hair. I mean, it's beautiful. It's nice. You get a hairstyle like that when you come to Southern California. Right. That's not Chicago hair. It's too windy for stuff like that. But with all that product in it, I don't think the wind would matter. Eight Do you? 15. You're a product guy, aren't you? No. Oh, really? I don't no. use products. Huh. Replay. Everything I use is all natural. Mm. It's, all good. it's really a great <laughs> tribute to your hair. That It looks like you put a lot of product in it, but really it's just... No. That's how it is. That is. I just take the towel, I towel off, and that's it. I never touch it again. Mm. The towel does it. Hey, get all that, got all the film on it. Maybe that's the product. Yeah. Is the towel. It's great, Dave, to see so many young players out here at this event. I mean, just out here in the booth, we've seen 40 kids under the age of 16 playing handball. It's only Friday. And imagine if you took those 40 kids and gave them to John Iglesias. Just, <laughs> he can turn it into like 2,500 kids. Oh, yeah. Well, he's a, he's a promoter. I heard him say, Dave, that he's got handball in 15 schools in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing. Doesn't surprise me, though, with John. He's the kind of guy that when he sets his mind to something, Dave, he gets it. We see him doing that exact thing in Tucson. Be 
becoming part of the handball community there, Dave, that you and I both wish that we, we were could join. <laughs> <laughs> Do kind of wish well, I was a part of that. I'm public enemy number one. I think that's being a part of something. I mean, you're in the discussion. Isn't that what they say? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. It's like kind of having your face on the wall down at the post office. Yeah. Sean Lenning is going to be, as you saw him there, courtside alongside Nadia Alvarado Sr. there on the left and Bruce Fabrizio, the owner of Simple Green on the right. Sean Lenning's getting ready for his match against Killian Carroll. And that should be a good one. Score is eight, serving 15. Tender. That was a nice moment. Not the first kiss between you and Emmett Pichot. And I don't think it'll be the last. No, I didn't do the kissing, so I'm not, I don't know if that's called a kiss. It is. You accepted it. See, now Nash doesn't take the revolving door, maybe perhaps because it was low. Little stutter step there. Big setup for Moreno. Replay, replay. He held up. Well, why would a player in the front court hit so many walls and take away their power? Why even... Dave, you have you know that your opponent's somewhere behind you, almost directly behind you. Why don't you just pass it straight down a wall? Eight, well, instead of hitting four when walls. Luis gets frustrated. He just starts swinging wild. Oh, there's a crack serve and a fist pump, and now at nine to fifteen. Yeah, Luis right back in this game. About three more of those. Nine serving fifteen. Well, Dermot has sort of stalled once reaching fourteen. He's only scored one point in the last seven minutes. And Dave, in the seven minutes prior to that, he scored eight points. So Luis is neutralizing the nice. Irish lefty right now until that announcer's curse. Well, Luis goes to the ceiling for the first time in this match, and Dharma decided to show him what it's like to overhit a ceiling shot. 15 serving nine. Short. 16 9. The score is 16 to 9. Second serve. I believe. Unless I heard that wrong. And I might have. And now, Dave, we're starting to see it's a little bit of sloppy play. And I don't know. That last so shot from Nash 16, was serving nine. unbelievable. Left corner kill, underhand paddle. Hmm. But he's dangerous up there. And maybe it's sloppy because they might be getting tired. There's a lot of play here. Replay, you know, Dave, I him? think Replay. Nash is kind of like a Federer. He has this touch. You know, Federer at the net is unlike any other. And Nash is kind of like that. When he's up there in the front court, he has these short swings, and he just seems 16, to put the ball in the perfect spot. And I don't see many people in handball doing that, at least Start. not with that kind of style, with those kind of swings and, and anticipation. Second serve. Gene Casimoto, Kastner, Dave, telling me that Dermot Nash takes more shots out of the air than any other player in the game. Well, Gene knows. She's, well, she's ch charting every, every shot. But she has an affinity for the fly kill. Nine, That's kind of what 16. has made her the player that she is. So she obviously appreciates that style. Oh, nice shot right there. Luis lets that ball drop. Hits the right corner. No timeout called. Not as if there should be one, but when Luis starts hitting shots Ten, serving where he's becoming creative and they're nice, you might want to neutralize it and just stop it immediately. Right. And like right now, Dave. Oh, slide ball. Did you see a slide? No. It's a point. Dermot has asked for four slides and not got many. 11 serving 16. Yeah. Point. Wow, Dave, that was a kill shot on a serve. Amazing. I mean, that's unreal. 12 serving 16. And now Luis is whistling in the server's box. Wow. And Dave, who else does that? Nobody else. Yeah. Inside out paddle, underhand, flat rollout. I mean, I would say that Nash is more like a McEnroe but, you know, McEnroe's a psycho. But aside from that part, yeah, I mean, he's got that finesse game and he's left-handed at the net. And the only psycho qualities Nash has is the fact that he even plays this sport. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, I Other guess, than that, puts him in the he discussion. has no personality. 
<laughs> disorders. <laughs> Yeah, that's, and that's an offhand, too. So you have to throw that in there, that he has that beautiful 16, underhand paddle 12. with an offhand. Well, I think he's controlled this match with his right hand. We've seen him hit some amazing flat rollouts. Short. And I'm interested to see now how Luis plays this Z-serve here. Well, he has stepped in and punched it down the right wall, but then Darman took Second that serve. and killed it. So let's see if he jumps in here. You see Luis wanting to lean in. Wow, that is amazing serve, yeah. Dave. That's a, just an incredible shot from Luis. Swings as hard as he can and breaks over top of the ball and just a great shot. Yeah, you can see here, right here, Luis goes over the top and watch what wow. this ball does. It just flattens out. Love that shot. And the only thing Nash can do is just put in a good effort. Incredible. And the reason why Nash dove for that is because of the fact that, that still got power? he was fooled oh, yeah. on Luis going over the top. Now, 12, your brain 16. doesn't say, I know this guy's going to hit a natural. It just knows he's going to hit a natural. And all of a sudden, you see a reverse, and the ball goes away and fades away when you're already committed. Well, I think unless you're you or I who have played Luis Moreno so many times, we knew that was coming. I just watch it. Me going to the backcourt is just to pick it up to throw it back to him. But yeah. He isn't going to hit a natural hook necessarily from that angle. He's going to go over the top and fade it away from you. Especially when he tees off like that. Referee's Mike cutting out there for that. He might have muted it for a moment. Sorry, I said that backwards. Sorry. Now, now he's back. Point. 13, serving 16. Amazing serve there from Luis, who from 14 to 4 and basically looking like he was completely out of this game. Where we got? Wow, look at that. He had Nash leaning to the right, and then a double take there from Nash. Oh, incredible. And he still almost got it to the, to the front wall. That's like swinging twice. And look at this. You said it was 14 to 4. Yeah. And Moreno on a 10 to 2 run here. And late in game number one. Yeah. And the difference was like a light switch. You saw all of a sudden Luis was hanging out there near the dotted line, and he was dictating the flow, which was exactly what Nash was doing early on yeah. that got him that 14-4 to lead to begin with. You're watching the Simple Green U.S. Open of handball, and you're probably wondering, for the first time if you're watching, what, what, hold on, what's going on in the court right now? <laughs> what's more improbable, that the greatest player that's ever lived is on the court with a leaf blower. Uh-huh. Or? Or that there's a leaf blower on the court. I lost my second <laughs> thing. <laughs> I combined them, unfortunately. Yeah. I, or the fact that this is a shop vac, the biggest shop vac I've ever seen in my entire life. Look, it huh. has a battery pack that you can just plug into the wall. Yeah. I mean, are they getting obsessive with how everything has to be just bigger than, remember when we were kids, we just had that little shop vac, we'd, you know, and we'd just plug it into the wall? Hmm. I'm sorry, we grew yeah. up in different classes. Yeah. You had a maid. <laughs> uh, we used to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Oh. Get right down there and scoop it with our hands, pick it up. I forgot who I was talking to for a moment. Oh. Thank you for apologizing. Did the maid actually live in the house? Because that makes a difference to me. She stayed the night a few times. No. Never has? No, did not. <laughs> the, the way you answered that makes me now believe there's... Yeah, I don't want to blow out their ears. You Sorry. ruined my, my train of thought on All that. Right. Now I have a different opinion. That was kind of my goal. I'm yelling, so <laughs> separate myself from that. As long as it's not going to yell me and blow out that. Well, we have a maid at my house. My wife made me clean it up. Mm. Score is 14, serving 16. Made me make the bed, made me make the dishes. Oh, look at that fooled Nash shot. Nice. Luis now just overpowering. I don't think anyone can hang with this kind of power. 15, serving 16. Love and this. What would have been a great replay there. Well, it was still great. But handball is pretty fast. I mean, that was right after that play ended, and we couldn't even get one slow-motion play out of the way. Great. That's a good call. 
Luis is just hitting the ball so well right now, Dave. Well, he hit it well, but that was four feet too far to the. But just the crispness 15, and the power. Serving 16. Nice. Ball is down. Oh. No. He just reached out and touched him. You weren't getting there. Mm. Well, he wasn't going to get there going around him like that. Right. Look at this replay, Dave. Let's see this shot here and if Luis had a chance at it. I think he does. 16 serving 15. That's close. I think that's sort of the definition. If you think it's going to be close, you have to call it. I mean, I really Short. think Luis had a great look at that shot. It might be appealed. I'm not sure. Second serve. Dave, I think Nash appealed that, but the referee didn't see it. Nash didn't turn around and just took his word that the line judges didn't see it. Nothing going D's way right now. And Dave, how hard is it? You've played a guy three times, you've never won. Now you've got this huge lead, but you start questioning 15, yourself. Well, I've never 16. won. This is going too easily right now. Start. I know Dermon is a confident guy, but you still have those doubts. Second serve. Well, anybody you play, when you get outscored 12 to 2 or 11 to 2, it's going to work on your psyche. Look at that shot. That's been such a gimme for Darman Nash. It was a great get from Luis Moreno to even keep the rally alive, and he wins it because of that get. I thought you had a very good shot, and you would have wanted that shot. I gave you the shot. But Oops. Nash is talking about a shot that happened earlier, not at the he end of that back. rally. He's Three talking point, about. But I thought you had a great shot, and if I would have taken that from you, it would have been a bad call. Great. I think Nash is upset with that. He thinks that Luis is in 16, the way. 16, serving 16. Yeah. But couldn't you just say as a referee, well, just hit the shot you need to hit, right? Like. If you not hit today. Moreno in the back, then it's unavoidable, right? But you're really not going to go for someone's back when you have a no, chance no, but to end the rally. He changed his shot because the guy was in his way. Yeah, I so don't think he would have got the avoidable there. 16, sir, 16. 12-2 to run from Luis Moreno here. Short. And when we were saying that this match was going along Second pretty serve. quickly, 30 minutes later, and Nash has only score, scored two points in 30 minutes. That's another little circle on my scorecard. Wow. I think Dave Luis plays his best coming from behind. I've seen him do it many times. We saw him win his last yellow jersey coming from 19 to 11 behind to 21. We saw him come from behind against Sean Lenning at the Plummer event, almost win that first game, and then just take over the 16. match from there. It almost seems to motivate him to get in these deficits. And then you see him start to play better, Start. hit the ball harder, yeah, and play with box, more authority. Shot down. Hit okay, that now, and shot down. Dave, it's, it's going to get two serves here. Two he serves. just hit a reverse. 17 yeah. serves Look for a natural hook here, maybe to the right. There it is, to the right. That was actually a reverse to the right. I mean, how can the ref even call that a hinder when it's hit so hard like that? Well, L Luis is taking the game out of Nash's hand right now. He's just playing. 18, serves 16. Flawlessly. Short ball. Wow, that was another one that could have been an ace if he just got it over the line. Second serve. Now Nash, you see how far Nash hung back there? Remember earlier, Dave, you were talking about Nash being on the dotted line? Change your shirt. He was almost touching gloves. the back wall on that serve. Good. Change your shirt. Shirt change. Two minutes. It's an odd time How for a shirt loose? change, Dave. I mean, that really works to Moreno's disadvantage. He's got all the momentum here, and now he's going to have to sit out if for we, two minutes. You know, I don't Dave, understand. I don't know if we can get UC Davis involved in this, but yeah. there's something that goes on with these referees where I think that they become fans and they don't realize it, but we've seen it so many times where a referee will – be watching a match, will be refing the match, and then all of a sudden they break the momentum on these crazy 
let's stop the play here. Moreno's going on this nice three or four point run. Actually, he's on a, a bigger run than that. But, you know, in the last 90 seconds, three points scored. Yeah. And then we're just going to stop play. When it's, nobody's diving. It's not fair to the Luis The ball's Moreno. not sliding. Now, I can understand if, if it's 14-14 and they've traded side outs and it just seems to be, and you say, okay, let's change our shirt now as we prepare for the end of the game. I can understand that. But in this, I don't understand. It just doesn't doesn't seem fair but we've seen it a lot and and i don't know if if the referees just like subconsciously just do it you know like okay i can't handle this tension you know let's break this up a little bit and let's call this and i'm not i'm not actually putting them down but pointing it out that i have seen it and i'm kind of wondering why it's happening and maybe it's just you know maybe it's a great call because we're not there to see it and Darmid Nash's shirt was soiled in his own sweat. You know, Dave, I had a similar circumstance yesterday. Nadi asked him to change his shirt when Darmid Nash had built the momentum. And I just said, no. I mean, I I'm not just going to take Nash out of the server's box seconds. when he's got all this momentum and feeling it because you want to change your shirt. I mean, you can call timeout to change your shirt, you know, but I don't think it's the ref's call. Well, if I look at it like if the players are not diving all over and if there's no sliding going on. Now, this court does slide, but the players haven't had a slide call in the last 10 minutes. There hasn't been a, a ball that was wet or a dive, for that matter, in a while. That's when I would say no. I, I just, as a referee, like, it's a lot like watching Major League Baseball. For those Irish viewers, probably won't understand this, but... You, you see the umpires letting these teams play a little longer when it's pouring rain because there's two outs and two strikes. Yeah. And he keeps fouling it off. You're saying, why doesn't he just call the game? You know, why don't they just take the players out the field? Because they want that last out. They just wanted to get it over with. And the ball doesn't seem to be affected. The, the pitcher is still able to pitch. Nobody's getting hurt. There doesn't seem like anybody's sliding. 19. 19. The score should say 19 to 16 here. We're at the tail end of a two-minute break. We're at the tail end of this two-minute break there. Yeah, our referee calling for 30 seconds about a, a minute ago. Dermon didn't even have his gloves on. Our tournament host, Nadi Alvarado, Senior still in there working on these walls. This is the 25th anniversary, Dave, of this great event honoring Nadi Alvarado Senior. Of course, the sixth wedding anniversary for you and your beautiful bride, Dave. Oh, so yeah. A lot of great anniversaries here every year. Hey, time in. Score is 19, serving 16. Well, on the plus side of that, I could always remember what dates the U.S. Open is because it's on my anniversary. Hold it. And now, Dave, you're starting to hear the floor starting to acquire some of that moisture. You can just hear it in the feet and see the way that these oh, guys yeah, are slipping yeah. around. 19, serving 16. And I'm surprised the momentum hasn't been broken here. Ooh, look at that ball. That's unbelievable hook. And and Moreno has baited Darman Nash into this exact serve, Dave. He went away, 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 and then breaks this one right in the same spot. Watch this. This is a natural. Comes back to oh the my 20, gosh. serving 16. Amazing. And what did Nash think? He was thinking he was going to go to the right. Just short. like Now look what he does there. That's Appeal, like a four or five-footer, Dave. Both agreed. You thought it was good? One Imagine three, trying one to return that on the one-wall court. It's impossible. Yeah. If you disagree, that well, would be Well, yeah. here's the deal. So Luis hits that first, first one that was a huge break that hit Nash. And what, what goes through Luis's mind? Well, I'm going to make the next one just as big. He felt it. He stayed with the same Second natural third. hook. This time he goes to the left side, and Nash had a dive for it.
Five minutes. There is shocking miss and shocking end of game number one. Nash scores two points. Luis Moreno gets 16. Is that right? 17. Outscores Darvin Nash 17 to 2 there to close out game number one. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in just a bit. I want you to stick around. We'll have more handball action as we continue here uh, at the Simple Green Race 4 8 tournament. We call it the U.S. Open of Handball in Fountain Valley, California. For Dave Fink, I'm Dave Vincent here at RaceRate.com. Get a remarkable clean with non-toxic and biodegradable Simple Green all-purpose cleaner. You can use it straight out of the bottle on Tough Grime or dilute the concentrated formula to make multiple bottles of daily cleaner. Safe for all washable surfaces, Simple Green can be used indoors and out. From kitchens and bathrooms to living and play areas, countertops and floors to furniture and clothing. Keep your home and our world clean with Simple Green. So I got to go in there ready to play. Now it's 11 11. The winner will win the cup, and it all comes down to this. Everything on the line on this point, Dave, all season for one point. It's Juan Santos again. It's Juan Santos again. It's Juan Santos again. It's Juan Welcome back. We're here for another edition of the Second Serve. We're joined by Leslie Amundsen from St. John's, Newfoundland in Canada. You came all the way here about 4,000 miles. You're on the circuit. It's great to have you. Your game is really improving, but now you're on the hot seat playing the Second Serve. Are you ready? Uh-huh. If you had to host one race for eight pro at your house in St. John's, Newfoundland, who would it be? Um, I think Martina. Is that... An answer? That the is ladies. very acceptable, <laughs> yes. Who is the last race for eight pro you'd want to host at your house? Oh, I don't know. If you had to pick one current race for eight pro to hit an ace serve, who would it be? Uh, Paul Brady. <laughs> if you were driving across the desert and your car broke down, what race for eight pro would you want at your side? Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So these are tough questions. What is one rule you'd change in race for eight tournaments if you could? Um, I think in the one wall, the one serve, the no, like the no two faults. Okay. What tournament would you most like to win? Um, I think right now the Canadians. Okay. Just like right now, that would be. Okay, now we're going to play word association. So you tell me whatever comes to your mind when I say this name or event. Paul Brady. Um, perfect. Race for eight. Fun. Yellow jersey. 
I don't know. Katrina Casey. Talented. Luis Moreno. Natural. Players Championship. Um, impressive. Handball on ESPN. Um, very promotional, good. Irish handball. Um, high, like, high talent. Sean Lenning. Um, just surprising. Leslie, you're off the hot seat. You did great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks. See you And we're back here for game number two as Luis Moreno comes back, scores 17 of the last 19 points of game number one and defeats Nash 21 to 16. Nash gets that side out with a beautiful shot to the left corner. Really the tale of two games. Dermot Nash dominates early and then Luis zero, Moreno sir, zero. dominates completely. Closes out that game, like you said, Dave, on a 17 to 2 run. There was one time in that first game, Dave, we said it was a lot like Emmett and McCarthy. That right. score was 5 to 15 with with Luis serving. Yeah. And if you think about that score line, Luis scored 16 of the next 17 points to win, and that just doesn't happen in these pro matches very much. And I don't think one, it was zero, really zero. much of anything. Mc that Nash did wrong. It no. was just Luis was teeing off. And, you know, Dave, when Luis is doing that, there's not much you can do. Like you said, I think unless you're Paul zero, Brady, zero, zero. he's the only person that can withstand that. He defeated Sean Lenning 21-1 a couple weeks ago in the second game. Hold it. He's a guy who built a 16-3 lead on Killian Carroll at the World Championships. But he's also the same guy that was two, down zero, 5 zero. to 15 in this this tournament. But you talk about not seeing that kind of scoring streak, streak happening a lot. Dermot Nash comes back to win the first game against Nadia Alvarado yesterday after trailing 20 to 16. Then he wins the second game 21-3. It yeah. seems to happen more than we might think. Short. You know, these guys are so evenly matched, and if one guy elevates his game and the others drops, you see these crazy score lines. 21-3, Emmett defeats right. Andy Nett yesterday. You know, in that match with Naughty, he has kids that are older than Darvin Nash. So it's, you know, you're talking about age plays a little bit of factor yeah. in that second game. Uh -huh. I Zero, see, I see how the, the lopsided score could happen in the second game. It doesn't, you don't see it necessarily in the first game. And uh, I, I mean, I guess it happens both ways, but. One serves three. But you know, Dave, another thing you have to consider, these top Irish players, with the exception of Paul Brady, are in their early to mid 20s. And you have uh, American players, Nadia Alvarado in his 40s, Emmett Bichot, 33. Sean Lenning now Two 30. Two serves three. That's a certainly advantage bounce, yep. Irish, wouldn't you say? Pumped I would say that. Mid-20s to 30s and 40s? Yep. Yeah. Two serves three. But wouldn't you say Moreno is in the prime of his career yeah. here? I didn't include Moreno in that discussion, but yeah, he is. Three serves two. Luis Moreno with nine race for eight titles, Dave. There's been, Dark. as you know, 27 race events held. He's won a third of them. Paul Brady Second also serve. winning a third of them. That doesn't leave too many yellow jerseys for the rest of the pros. That's true. 
in fact, a it's, number of the top players don't have one. Yeah, it's. It, I think if you saw the stats of like Alan Four Garner, two. Sean Lenning, you would say, really? They've only won two or yeah. one. You know, Sean Lenning with four. And that was very early on on the tour. Well, he did win the Players' Championship as well. But, right, three in the first Second two years. Uh -huh. and, and then, then one, one finally in year right. number four. Mm -hmm. Huge separation. has never won one. Emmett Bichotte never won Dave, one. Dave, you haven't won one. Right. Your perennial top eight player. Dave Chapman did win one or two. Not in a race event. Though. Yeah. In our old tour. Yeah. Like pre-race stuff, right? Naughty's not won one, right? That's that's kind of the big surprising one. Yeah, and Naughty has been in the most finals of anyone to have not won one. He's been in five finals. Look at that right there. That rally. Luis goes to the right, to the left, back to the right again, punches it, and watch this, Dave. Nash is over all the way to the right. He Two, almost hits the four. wall here, and he has to literally run oh. all the way back to the other wall that's again. That's an amazing shot from Luis. And you see that how Luis is going back and forth, back and forth. A little bit of traffic, no call from the ref. Nash is not happy, though. Luis doesn't get the right spin on that. And he had to go for a crazy shot, Dave, because if he just pops it up, Derman's running in there for the re-kill. So he goes for... Four serves two. A lob kill, I would call it. It looked like you held up. Sorry, Luis. That would have been unavoidable, if anything. Called it over. I, I'd be upset if I was Luis, too, but... You look very tight, very cramped. Sorry, it worked It worked out there, but it... No, called not, it before the shot. Not really. It had. Actually, did not turn out fair, because Luis passed Four, two. Nash, number one, but number two, it wouldn't be a hold-up call. It'd be an avoidable call, hitting him with your follow-through. And it's those little things, Dave, that can kind of manifest themselves and create Five, big changes two. in these matches. Now, you might say, well, that's not right. You have to be mentally tougher than that. But these things happen. Yeah. And with all that said, Nash is up again. Here in game number two. Five, sir, two. He has to be saying, why couldn't I have scored five points at the end of that first game? When I had 16, stuck on 16. And Luis hit almost every wall with one shot right there, including the floor. Four walls on that shot. Six right? serves two. Plus the floor. And Nash hit three, counting the floor on his return. Yeah. And almost gets a crack serve there. Ball nicks Nash. Six serves two. But you see, Nash is a grinder, so. I think he's completely comfortable here after losing that first game. A lot of other players would give up, but I think he's like, well, my game plan is obviously to win two games, but he, his game plan doesn't include giving up and, two. and having a negative attitude and thinking anything negative. He just continues to keep grinding, just much like Killian Carroll. Yeah. Hold it. Just because it goes in, you don't get it. I, I don't understand. These are really ticky tack fouls off balance. or I'm hinders. Take I'm not going to let that go. Seven, if you can see two. the crowd is up in arms with these calls. The crowd is not happy. On the plus side, Dave, that's the first rally that's ended without a hinder call. 
in the last four. Eight, serves two. I don't know how Luis got that off the ground. Another rally ending shot for Nash in his right hand. That should be a new stat. Rally ender offhand. It is a stat. It is? Yeah. Offhand. It's on the rally, spreadsheet rally that you were sent late last night. As is it O-H-R-E? Is that the, uh, that was the one. I didn't know what that stood yeah. for. Well, now offhand you rally yeah. enders. Okay. It's O-H-R-E. The o it's number 32. The stats. We keep 40 Third. different stats. That's number 32. That'll also help you if you're scrolling down. Second 39. serve. Okay. 32. Yeah. The o <laughs> Yeah. I didn't know what it stood for, but now I do. Eight serves two. And that's why Nash was in the plus department on that stat. I just didn't understand what plus 27 meant. A couple of the stats I don't understand. You know, you've got the rally ending ceiling shot air. You figure, well, how often do players do that? But you saw Emmett today with four ceiling shot airs. So that's why we keep that stat. Contact. Yell it out before you hit it, Dearman. It's Don't not all it. just about aces and kills, Yell it out Dave. before you hit it. Got to take everything into account. Eight serves two. Luis Moreno averaging 62 miles per hour per swing. Dermot Nash, 47. Big reason for that, Dave. Luis Moreno hits the ball harder, but also Nash hits a lot of these off-speed type of shots like that, which was only 27, but won the rally with 27. Timeout. Timeout being called here. Luis. So Luis looks out. like he's tired. And Nash is just going to keep grinding. He never looks like he's tired, so he's going to grind this one out, and Moreno just needs to take a breather. Well, you know, Dave, a lot of times players will lose a big lead and lose a game, and they're frustrated. But you have to remember, it takes a lot of energy for your opponent to come back from 14-4 to 4 to win a game. So you have to try and use that to your advantage somehow and say, well, he's not going to be as sharp or have the same kind of spring in this second game as he did in the first game where he had to use all that energy to score 17 in the last 19. That's true. And what is Nash drinking here? That looks like that could be windshield wiper fluid or something. Mm. <laughs> in the actual bottle. He's yeah, not even trying uh, to disguise it. Yeah. Antifreeze something there. And then he backs it up with a little bit of what looks like antifreeze, but Gatorade. Yeah. Well, that'll make it go down a little bit better, I guess. Well, Dave, he might be preparing himself for Hurricane Patricia, which I know you know is on the way. Well, you know when it's categorized as the worst hurricane ever recorded in the history of hurricane tracking yeah you know it's a big deal but will it hit us here uh, well Scores remnants nine, remnants will two. hit it won't hit here but you'll if you looked at the satellite image you saw these big long uh, fingers of cloud formations coming all the way up to the California border of Mexico and that's where we're at I did see that on constant contact this morning yeah, no, I mean, it won't affect us, but it could take this tent and blow it away. And that affects us. Yeah, then. I mean, in that sense. But, you know, there were some flights from L.A. to Puerto Vallarta Ten that were just canceled two. today from LAX. So, But our flight to Puerto Vallarta on Sunday is still on, right? Well, it all depends on hmm. we might be going there on a relief effort. Oh, okay. I don't think it's going to be a good sight. And Stop, replay, replay. I've this is sort of like all these fines. Dave, this is the equivalent of the possibility of something as catastrophic as what happened in Indonesia, but us knowing about it about 36 hours ahead of time. Ten serving two. Indonesia just happened. I mean, I obviously our thoughts and prayers out to those Jordan. that live in the area, but this is it, it could be bad. I mean, Port of Ar I've been there before multiple times, and the water's only you're uh, like what two feet above sea level. So if the, the sea rises at all with any type of swell, which it will do, it'll flood the whole city. And those structures there, as you know, if you've ever visited, are not very safe to begin with. I couldn't imagine what's going to happen. And I did see some pictures from an old hurricane when I was there from back in the 60s, and it just destroyed the, the city. 
And that was like a category one. This is a category five, the highest ever recorded. Hmm. Now, it's nothing like what we see at, on Jupiter, where they have storms bigger than the size of Earth. Obviously. German Whoa, Nash two. completely in control, much like he was in game one. Well, that's a beautiful serve, Short. too. But see, that's all set up with that screen serve that he gives on that first one, Second and he serve. fades it away. That was the one weakness that I saw in Nash's game was his serve to the right yesterday, and he shored that up. He was here at 6 in the morning, Dave, hitting serves to the right with his coach catching balls in a basket. Well, he found a good time to bring it out here. Look at that power. Luis just pounces that ball. Luis, or excuse me, Dermot actually set up a pyramid of cans just between the short line and the dotted 12, line. 12 serving two. And he hit those cans four times in a row on serves to the right. That's impressive. Yeah. Eight out of ten, as a matter of fact, at screen one point. Ball. And there's a screen ball called there. 12 to two, Nash in the lead against Moreno two here serves, in game number two. Screen. And now 14 to 2. And even though it happened in the first game, I really cannot see Moreno scoring 19 in the next 25 points or so. Because I just don't. I just don't see Luis coming back from a deficit like this. Back to the roof here for both. See who goes for the offensive shot first. Dave, you've watched these guys play now four times. What's been the difference in this match? Because with the exception of that run by Luis Moreno, it's been all Nash Two here serves 14. in this match. It, it was just the feeling that Moreno didn't come in thinking 100% like he did at the end of the first game. The, it was sort of like Moreno decided to go play that 60% style that he's playing. And Three Nash, since he is such a grinder and always plays at one level all the time, he just he could beat a 60% effort. You know, Moreno gave that late game 90%, 95% to almost 100% game that he has. And I don't know anybody that can really Two keep serves. up with that. Two but serves. certainly Nash Three couldn't. Serves, but you saw he just came out flat. 50 65% of the same guy that we saw at the end of game Replay. number one. And Moreno never got out of it. It was just, you know, a couple points into it here in the first game. He took a timeout, and it looks like he was completely tired and winded. But Nash hasn't looked like he's lost anything. He's just the Three, same guy. There's 14. It's up to Moreno to decide how hard he really wants to work here. Does he want to work for the second game, or does he want to try and save that 95%, 100% game to win a tiebreaker? What? The ball slide, he's, slid. He's saying slide. You saw a slide. Did you see a slide? No slide. Wow, this is a tough one to call, Dave. I mean, I could see it from from that angle live. On the sidewall or the floor? Sidewall. Here's a replay here. 14 serving three. Let's let it keep going. It's just, sometimes those replays are just slow. Wow. Yeah, Derman just banks himself into that right side wall and hits really the only shot he can, but he hit it perfectly. 15 serving three. When was the last time you saw someone, Dave, outside of Paul Brady take 
15 to three or four leads on Luis Moreno two games in a row. And still have a mountain of, to climb in order to win the match. Now it's 16 to three, and we will be going tiebreaker on this one. 16, serving three. You know, and that's one thing you can say about the Irish players, that they play very consistent. It's very disciplined, and, and it's following the game plan. We saw it at the World Championships in 2012. That's a nice shot there from Moreno when Luis comes out and jumps out to that big lead against Paul Brady in the finals but then gets beat fairly easy Three, after that big 16. lead. And Paul just stuck to the course. Hold it. It's almost like Luis needs to find something in between his 95% Three, and his 60% game. Because he can't sustain that 95% game for a whole slide match. Ball. That one slid. But the 50, 60% game doesn't really win matches against these kind of players. Yeah. It's almost like Nash is right there at 80% the whole time. 16. Emmett Dave is a guy that I see going 100%, and he wears himself out after usually one game. I mean, you see Emmett flying all over the court, and I know he's fit, but he doesn't last over the course of a match. We saw him tired today, early in that first game, and never recovered. 16, serving three. I, did, I like the Irish approach, which I think does incorporate some of that 80% play. Yeah, I think the problem short. with Emmett, since we have a short ball Feeling here, I called it is short. that Agreed. he has been caught short. in between Dave Chapman and Toddy Severa yeah. since he was young. And oh. sometimes when Toddy comes out, it's the way the game is kind of turned. Yeah. That style of game can work today. I believe the Dave Chapman style could also work, but Emmett's caught between trying to figure out where he wants to put himself in between that, because he could go Dave Chapman if he wanted, and I think he'd have better success, but I also believe he'd have better success if he went all Toddy Severa. I think he needs to go all Toddy. Yeah, I mean, because, because when we've seen him do that, he's dominated. Yeah. Three serving 16. And, and it actually dominated like Paul Brady has dominated, but he seems also want to display that methodical game, and I'm not sure that's... But there's more to Dave Chapman's style than just lob serving and hitting the ceiling. There's so many nuances to his game that only Dave has, and I think Emmett trying to copy that is just not going to work because he doesn't have those same kind of paddle shots or the same back wall kill efficiency. So when he does get those shots that Dave would get, he's not able to put them away the way Dave would, and then you just become this, well, I'm just slowing the game down style, but not as effective. But I think he does have the ability to play that up-tempo ground and pound kill the ball with both hands style. Yeah, because see, what I th see from Emmett with putting out so much energy all the time in the earlier rounds, which makes it a little bit tougher for him. Now, don't get me wrong. He's been to the finals of the Nationals two years in a row. Yeah. But but I believe if he went to the mentality of I'm going to serve and then shoot 16. the next shot and be aggressive, he would find out that he's hitting probably 800 less, less balls. Well, you I know, think which you have is to decide. Do you want to be a runner or a shot maker? And I think he's also caught in between those two things. But he can things. be a shot maker. That's what I mean. But he's got to set his feet and sit down on his shots and actually be a shot maker. 16, serving three. Not just a scrambler. Scrambling's okay, but that's not how you want to win matches. Replay. Check the ball. I don't know if it's cracked or ball. Well, that ball definitely broken. broke in half. I mean... That's no question there. 16 to three is the score here in game number two as Luis Moreno and Dermot Nash find themselves at a lopsided game number two, but it was almost at this point in game number one where Luis Moreno was down five to 15. When all of a sudden he went on a nice tear, 16 to one run to close out game number one, did Luis Moreno? So he's gone on his own 16 to one run. Here Nash is up 16 to three. In 
game number two. Nash trying to push this one into a tiebreaker, which looks like that's where we're going to go. This is the Simple Green U.S. Open of handball, live from Los Caballero Sports Village, Fountain Valley, California, alongside Dave Fink. My name is Dave Vincent. Where it's also the Women's Race for Eight professional tour, 40-plus senior SR48 tour stop number one, and the elite guys, plus the rankings continue for the 50 and older, plus 60 and older divisions. At a celebration of handball and a ranking event with WPH Outdoors, the big ball three-wall Outdoor players are on the show court, which is the traditional tennis show court here at Los Cab. It's the, one of the only courts that runs east to west when everything else is more north to south in the way that it's been aligned for all of the tennis courts. So this is the one that really sticks out because it's just not facing the same direction as all the others. And they took off the net and they converted this amazing Good. show court. Very colorful, and we'll be giving you some of the live action from that. Okay, score throughout 16, the weekend. Serving three. 16 to 3. You heard the ref, Dane Zatkowski from Chicago. Chi Town. Screen ball. And that's that finally the referee calls a screen there. Two serves, one screen. And Nash now scores his 17th point. And he Change blows this ball yeah. past. Is your shirt wet? Luis Moreno, we finally get up. one rally after that three minute break after the ball broke. And after one rally, we have a two minute shirt change. And we're gonna take a break as well here in the booth. We'll be back in two minutes. Stick around, more handball in just a bit from this live event we're giving you in Fountain Valley, California, Los Caballeros at racefor8.com. Stick around. If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. My life is full of statistics. Thing is, I could have dropped out of school and become one myself. But I didn't, because I had people that believed in me. Here's another statistic. 7,000 students drop out every school day. That's one every 26 seconds. It's time that students know that we believe in them. Inspire a student and share your message of support at boostup.org. The Tucson Racquet Club is your home away from home. Join us for world-class tennis, handball, racquetball, and the new rage, pickleball. Or try one of our 160 weekly group exercise classes. Want to swim laps or play with your family in the pool? Enjoy our two junior Olympic-sized pools and wading pool that are open year-round. Then round out the perfect day with a delicious meal at our restaurant or sports bar. All at the Tucson Racquet and Fitness Club, where Country Club Road ends and fitness begins. Get a remarkable clean with non-toxic and biodegradable Simple Green All-Purpose Cleaner. Use straight from the bottle on heavy grime or dilute the concentrated formula to make up to 44 bottles of daily cleaner. Safe for all washable surfaces, Simple Green can be used indoors and out. From kitchens and bathrooms to living and play areas, countertops and floors to furniture and clothing. Keep your home and our world clean with Simple Green.
We are back here, game number two, after a four and a half minute ball break stoppage of play to warm up the new ball. The players took two shots and the referee called a shirt change, unsolicited. So now we're in an extended two minute shirt change and let's see what kind of crazy call we get next. I can only imagine. But you know, I'm not particular about time. No. Or anything. No, before you, Ready? the only time that concerned me was what time the sun went down, so I had to stop golfing. Now, I've got stopwatches and second hands on my watch. And uh -huh. so, Calendars and, yeah, and thank score you. Is 17, serving three. There's great phone apps for all of the scheduling and stuff. Yeah. If you're going to change your shirt, though, Dave, you couldn't do much better than the one Luis Moreno's wearing. The team race for eight world championship jersey. Really a sharp looking jersey. I thought Nash was wearing one, too. 19, serving three. These guys wearing, I think, two of the most popular WPH jerseys in history. Yeah, Green definitely. Ball. These are the ones that are most in demand. Everybody talks about it, Two serves, one <laughs> but they don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> you can purchase yours at thehandballstore.com, and they're fairly inexpensive. In fact, they said Second that 100% serve. of all profits goes to youth development. Yeah, you know, I tried to buy a Murphy jersey last night, $185, Dave. You can get one of these official player jerseys for... Like 1995. Wow. Or less in yeah. some cases. And sometimes even comes with a membership or... Yeah. Yeah. Well, the white version of the one that Nash is wearing, that's a black and red. Uh -huh. But the black and white the pinstripe is without shipping. So you don't uh -huh. have to pay for shipping on that product, okay. I believe. So it's pretty uh, interesting. Is that not unavoidable? Luis coming around and just completely obstructing the, everything but that right corner? Well, I think he knew that Nash was going for it. Look at this right here. Nash goes for the right corner, gets it. Luis goes with a backhanded flip, which I think, think is kind of strange from there. And we're just down to this last point before we go into the tiebreaker. It's all kind of semantics at this moment. Yeah, I would moment. say. But I thought it was almost semantics in that first game. But Luis came back to score 17 of 19. That's not going to happen here in this game. 20, serving three. No. You almost feel like, Dave, if you're a player winning the second game 21-3, you deserve more of an advantage in the tiebreaker than just starting with the first serve. You've done so much, and yet all you have is one serve to show for it. That's why I thought those one-game formats were so cool. serving 20. Point. And now Luis finally scores a point after 19 minutes and 45 seconds Four, going scoreless. 20. And now two points. Five serving 20. Dave, I think if you're Nash right now, you do not want to hear that kind of power and that kind of crisp shot making from Luis Moreno, who now seems 20, to have come 35. back to life. And but maybe he'll carry that into the tiebreaker because this is the same kind of shot making, even though he lost that last ride, that we saw late in that first game on Luis Moreno's comeback. That's an amazing right-handed rally five ending minutes. shot from Dermot Nash. We're also going to take a five-minute break. We'll be back in just a bit. Stick around. We'll have game number three of this second quarter final between Luis Moreno and Dermot Nash coming up 
in just a bit here at racefreight.com. Stay right with us and we'll give you more handball and it's going to be fun next. We are different. Society should aspire to be more like us. Be part of the first class. Get energized. Get outside. Hold on, guys. It's going to get bumpy. And get moving. Experience the power of physical activity. <laughs> Join the movement at actionheroalliance.com. Seven thousand high school students drop out every school day. That's a line of desks more than four miles long. We can keep students in school. Visit boostup.org and take the first step. So, what's it gonna be? We could ride bikes, skating, movies. Zoo? Whatever you guys want to do. Can we just do this? Yeah. We could just do this. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. <laughs> Take time to be a dad today. Are you getting this, honey? Oh, prime time. We are rolling. <laughs> All right, Mama's going to bring it home. Mama's okay. going to bring it home. Okay. 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 Come on. Ah! Watch this guy. Oh, oh backwards. Oh, don't. Okay. It went into Bob and Carol's yard. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Here it yeah. goes. Oh, oh mom. Oh, yeah. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. Yeah, All right. Let's see what you can do. Let's go. They might surprise you. Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. Get a remarkable clean with non-toxic and biodegradable Simple Green all-purpose cleaner. Spray straight from the bottle on heavy grime or dilute the concentrated formula to make up to 11 bottles of daily cleaner. Safe for all washable surfaces, Simple Green can be used indoors and out. From kitchens and bathrooms to living and play areas, countertops and floors to furniture and clothing. Keep your home and our world clean with Simple Green. This is one amazing truffle tree. Can you imagine a place where these grow everywhere? Yes, it's called the forest. A magical place to enjoy with your family. Ooh. So discover the forest and explore all the wonder that's there. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Up, college is hard, down, those books are heavy. My sport is football, but my passion is education. Right up so every year I take promising high schoolers on a college tour there, to show them that higher education means a brighter future. <laughs> my name is Namdi Asamoa. I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. You can be a reader, tutor, or mentor too. Take the pledge at liveunited.org slash volunteer. Do you wear this? Hello, I'm Bruce Fabrizio, inventor of Simple Green. Our non-toxic, biodegradable, all-purpose cleaner works great for cleaning it. Thank you. Non-toxic, biodegradable, Simple Green. It's great for cleaning. moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Play your part in the circle of life. Take time to be a dad today. Visit fatherhood.gov to learn more.
Okay, we're going to start the tiebreaker. Zero serves zero. Well, you heard the announcement there from our referee, Dane Zakowski. We're going to 11 here. Luis Moreno wins game number one with a huge comeback. And then Nash takes game number two. And just drives that ball down the right wall. Luis overplays to the center, and there's a first one point. One serves zero. Nash picking up where he left off there, Dave. And an amazing get there from Nash, but Moreno's there to finish it up. Underhand punch with a fist, but he takes a lot off of it, which makes Zero, you wonder why one. he doesn't just open his hand here. He's got great control of those paddle shots. Not such great control Fast of that ball. serve. Side out. Luis trying to sell that call there, but I think, Dave, he knew that. He agreed. Yeah, there was One, no clearance zero. sales there. Big over hit. Dave, Luis already giving three back wall setups early in this tiebreaker to Dermot Nash. I don't know if that's a sign of nerves, Dave, or, or just Luis missing his spots. I don't think Luis is nervous anymore. I know he doesn't want to lose this, but... That's two bounces. That's good. Got it. I thought you got it. I thought that was too easy. Wow. And Nash doesn't like it either. Okay. Uh, we'll could, see. could he I, go to instant replay here? I'd, no, he can't, but I'd Is love to see the slow-mo instant replay. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Because slow-mo will pick this up, and I'm, I, I really saw two live. Okay. And let's stick with the slow-mo, even if it goes into the next point, because I do want to see this. Well, I'm not sure we have that slow-mo, oh. or else you probably already see it. Hmm. Our guys are quick, Dave. Zero serves two. I predict we'll see it after this rally. I, I don't know. We'll see what kind of turning point that could be. Big over hit there from Nash, and it could be a side out anyway. Replay. And oh, another one. He got, yes. it and he got it, and he was screened on top of it. Oh. <laughs> Zero serves two. He got it, but he didn't see it, but he saw it enough to actually put his hand on it. These guys both making just amazing gets. I mean, every shot I think the rally's over and they're both there. Two serves zero. Screen ball. <laughs> and doesn't that always happen, Dave? As soon as you hear the screen, you just hit the best shot yeah. of the match. Two serves, one screen. And that's such a great serve. Not only the disguise, but he hops the ball away from Luis. So he's leaning left. Now the ball goes right with a huge natural on it. So it's hopping zero. towards the right side wall. And you say to yourself, why don't you just hit that one every time? Nash now 21-3-4-0. Well, 25-8. Nash, Nash is not 25 playing. To Four serves he's, zero. He's not playing at that 80% level right now. He's playing at the 97, 100% level because this right now is just unbelievable. Short. And to have the confidence to take something off of that fly kill, not. Second serve. Take a full power swing. Nash is up four to zero in the tiebreaker against Luis Moreno here in the quarters. And really, with the exception of that great run at the end of game one, has just dominated this Hold match. It against yeah. Luis Moreno. You take away 10 minutes, and this has been all Nash. Yeah. Scoring seven points for every one of Luis Four, Moreno. Four, serve zero. Of course, taking away that 17 to two run from Luis. But, Luis Moreno can score four points quicker than anybody on the planet. 
but he has to get into the server's box to do it. And right no. now, he's in the backcourt. Normally, I agree with you, but he hasn't shown that ability in the last 50 minutes. And now it's another pass shot from Dermot Nash, who just finds the perfect speed in this perfect spot. Five, serve zero. Short. Dermot Nash now looking to stretch Second this lead. Serve and make what would be his first semifinal appearance at the Simple Green U.S. Open. The winner of this match will play Robbie McCarthy, who defeated Emmett Pichot earlier this morning. Big setup here for Nash. Hit him. Replay. Five, serve zero. Zero, serves five. Score is zero to five here. Five. And Moreno finally scores a point here, Dave. One to five in the tiebreaker. Luis is the server of record. Slide ball. Unlucky there for Luis. That looked like it would have been a pretty big setup, but they'll replay it. One serves five. Wow, oh, that's unbelievable shot. right there. And you hear the referee kind of giggling. Watch this shot, because we're going to see this right around the revolving door with the left hand. He gets fooled back there, and look at this thing. It goes right oh. two, sir, five. to the left corner. And look at Luis looks looking like, up at the ref. Looks like one of your splat shots, Dave, that you actually go for. Are you saying that Luis wasn't going for that? The recognition there. Eyes well, in the back of Nash's head. Yeah, but he he got, well, yeah, but on that Five Luis shot, serves two. Luis got fooled in that yeah. back corner and still hit that flat. Well, that was a... But he's also down still. Three-wall kill. Very fortunate. Oh, nice shot right there. Nash hits that left-handed kill shot down the left wall, makes it 6-2 to two in the tiebreaker, going and to that's 11. that's how you keep the momentum, Dave. You Six, get that first strike two. and put it away. Nothing will squash... Your opponent's momentum faster than that. Hold it. You know, Dave, Nash is just the master of making you play one more shot. And when you do, you may either miss or just hit the ball right back at yourself like Luis did, and now Nash is back in with a fresh serve. Six serves two. Nash just five points away from advancing to the semifinals and picking off Luis Moreno. Point. You have to remember, was, Luis, nope. Luis has once won different. this tournament. That's right, he beat Nadi Alvarado Seven in the finals two. a couple years ago. 7-2. to two. 2013. Last year he was the finalist here. Actually make that 2012. That could have been a dagger there. Two serves seven. Let's see what Luis does. If he wants to put it up to that 95 to 100 percent level, and look at that crazy bounce in the back right corner, and just a kind of a mild clapping. Three serves seven from the crowd. 
I guess we've had earlier shots from Luis where he's hopped the ball four or five feet. The crowd expects more. There's Nash's patented inside out paddle kill into the corner. Had Luis way off guard there too because Luis stumbled up front and did not expect that. Dave, where do you seven put... Seven serves three. So I, I think about this a lot for some reason. I don't even know why. But where do you put Nash in the game of handball in the top five? I mean, assuming, obviously, he is in the top five. Short. But I always say to myself, is he number three? Second serve. Is he number two? Is he number, you know, it's like, it's hard to tell. Well, he was seated seventh in this tournament. So, obviously you have Paul Brady, Luis Moreno, who's defeated Dermot Nash in their three previous encounters. You'd have to rank Luis ahead of Nash. But just watching the play today. Three, oh, if you're going by seven. current form. Well, that's what the rankings do. Not The rankings are a 12-month evaluation. Of which... Nash doesn't always play in. Well, I, I agree with that. I'm just saying, Four, if you're going to rank seven. subjectively the, the list, not going off of that, but just saying this is the guys that are the best players, He it almost seems like there's an argument that he's in the top three. Well, it's Brady number one, and then the next three Irish guys would be in the top five and not sure what the Contact. order would be. They seem to be about the same, Carroll, McCarthy, and Nash. Hard to distinguish. And Luis here quietly scoring a couple points, and it's four to seven. But this four match is not over. Seven. No, not at all. That might move my two or three ranking down to five. Point. And there's a crazy crack over on the left, and now a point at five to seven. Well, you know, Luis Moreno showing signs of life in the 11th hour here. Five, sir, seven. Oh, huge over hit. Luis hit many walls there. Unconventionally goes with a two wall pass. It ended up being three and maybe even four. Have you ever heard Six, of a four wall pass? Seven. This is really incredible now, Dave. You expected Luis Moreno to come to life here at some point, but then you almost started questioning it. It's 21 3 and then 7 to 2, but here he is with the momentum and the serve. I thought Luis overplayed that. Luis is really active here. And a miss hit. But he, he just can't miss that shot there, Dave. Even if he throws that around all the walls, he's back in play. Seven, serve six. Every point so crucial here. Seven to six, tiebreaker going to 11, win by one. Short. And Dave, this could be Second a, serve. this could be a final of any tournament. <laughs> mm, well, what if Paul Brady's in the draw? Then it wouldn't be right. There's, a, there's always an exclusion when you bring up Paul Brady. Okay, but he usually plays in all the tournaments. Paul Brady's like Daniel Murphy. Six, but he's seven. just hitting instead home runs right now. For, instead of doing it for one series, he does it for the whole a decade. Well, he, his whole career is a series yeah. that Daniel Murphy's on. Boy, that's just tough right there. But yeah. that, that's, you have to give props to Nash for hitting that shot. But you can't plan it that, that perfectly. Well, you can say, I'm going to hit it over there and let it Seven, fall down on the wall, six. and that's what he's trying for. Seven to six. Hold it. Well, let's see really what happened here. I'm surprised the ref called this because I think Nash passes Moreno. There's a little foot hook there. You know, Nash seems like a nice Seven, guy, but he's six. foot hooking. Yeah. <laughs> well, 
regardless, that was a big wasted opportunity for Nash, who had a big setup for the eighth point and didn't convert it. Crazy bounce back wall. No call from the referee. Floor looks like, sounds like it's wet, Dave. Oh, and Nash is able to dig that out and get it. Moreno pushes it right back down. Oh, wow. and Moreno goes for it over the top of the... That is a tough shot to make from that angle. And Moreno's been driving the ball, Dave. He hasn't been going for anything offensive. Look what he does when he finally does go for an offensive shot. He lets the ball drop, goes over the top, keeps it down, and he's back into the server's box. That was an amazing shot. Well, Dave, if Nash loses this match, it will be a gut-wrenching heartbreaker because regardless of what happens, he'll have scored more points than Luis Moreno. He'll have dominated the action for more than 70% of the match, and yet he finds himself just leading by one and really with no momentum. Luis Moreno has scored four straight points. He now seems to be in his groove. Yeah. Serving seven. Oh. Luis just does come up short there. Both guys with opportunities to win that rally. Think he'll challenge it? <laughs> Nash. Misses the ceiling there. Seven serving six. Looked like he gave Luis the opening to tie this match, but didn't. Hold it. Uh, side out. Why did the referee say hold it there, Dave? He thought it was going to be a hinder, but the ball cracked out. I think he makes the right call at the end because it wouldn't have mattered Six, because right. of the crack. Seven. I don't see why you would ever call a hinder early. Oh, this is crazy here. No one can put that shot away, Hold Dave. It. Oh, and Nash almost got his hand on it. But it's called a hinder. But Dave, I've never seen someone put that shot away when it hits the back wall and then the front wall. And you see it right here. It just comes with such a strange Six, spin seven. that if you don't practice that, you're not going to be able to do it. Seven, serving seven. Replay. Nash looking up to our Chicago-based referee and asking for an avoidable there. Seven, serving seven. Luis now has his first lead in one hour and nine minutes, and it couldn't come at a better time. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've seen him on the scoreboard with a lead, and I, I don't know how these guys do it, Dave. I, what goes through your head? What I can say about Moreno is in the past when he was getting beat, he, he looked like he didn't apply himself, so it is nice to see him dig deep and go and take this lead, just if you're a Moreno fan. And Nash is just playing steady. So, Dave, this match is one hour and 40 minutes old. Luis Moreno has held the lead for only nine minutes of that entire match. Nine minutes. So out of 95 minutes, Luis Moreno has only been in the lead for nine of those. And that includes right now the clock is ticking. 9.30. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're watching the Simple Green U.S. Open of handball here at 
Los Caballeros Sports Village, Fountain Valley, California, where the weather cannot be any better, Dave. I, I don't remember any year where it felt just this good. It's, it, it looks like it's breezy, but when you get out in the sun, it's nice and warm. It's, it's a nice mix. But inside, we have a storm brewing here. Moreno up eight to seven, and tiebreaker going to 11. I believe he was down zero to five to start yeah, this he off. Was. So he's on a, an eight to two run. And Indeed. anytime you hear one of those score lines and a tiebreaker going to 11. When you played Moreno and he gets seven. into this zone, it, it's almost impossible. No, I, stop I start saying the most insulting things I can think of mm. just to see if I can break him out of the zone. And what there's would another you call point. A Monday. Or, or just a Monday. I went up to Luis and said, Nine You look horrible. Seven. Like you didn't get any sleep. Just mm. trying to get into his head. It doesn't work, but I tried. That's a tough shot to get. And now we are at 10 to 7. I really can't believe it, Dave. I and mean, we never count Luis Moreno out, but down 7 to 2. After losing the first, second game, 21-3, now finds himself at match point, 10-7. He, he was down in the first game, 5-15, to 15, and came back and won after scoring 16 of the next 17 points. So, I, I, but it's not over with yet. But Luis Moreno just wins close matches, Dave. That's what he does. I don't We've know if he's going to win this. seen it throughout his career. Uh, I don't know. I, I see Nash here. We saw beat Allen Garner 11-10 here when he won the U.S. Open in 2012. Yeah, I don't see Nash losing this. Wow. Seven, serving ten. I like what Nash has going with the serve down the, down the left here. He's talking to himself. Screen ball, short. We've said it, Dave. Nash came back short from ball. 16 to 20 yesterday against Nadi. Feeling a short, I called it short. Agree, both agree. That was the first game on the line. This is the match Second on the line. Serve. Luis has also scored Eight straight points. Nash will need to score the next four if he wants to win this match. Yeah, there's a lot of points also in the rankings for the race for eight here on this match. Hold it. Moreno gets out of the way on that one. I did that in air quotes. I don't know why you did. Because he got out a little late. Mm. Got the screen call. You don't know why I do air quotes? We've been, this is our what 30,000th match yeah I haven't seen an air quote before too busy looking at yourself in the mirror hmm. screen serve so the ref's now going to call screen on it's, every single one of those it's inconsistent because he's gone the whole match without calling one two serves one screen not sure what he's doing differently I like that shot from Moreno, but he overhits it. These are very fast courts. Let's see if he overhits this one too, and he does. And there's a point for Nash. But you now, know, I think it, it is a great shot because even the best back wall kill shot artists only kill that shot from the ceiling to the back wall 30% of the time. So you're better off hitting that kind of shot. It's usually automatic for Moreno. But he telegraphed it. Oh, that's a so tough right there. Moreno goes inside out and makes Nash stop in his tracks and have to regather himself, and it's so hard to do. That ball also coming off that side wall is almost impossible to dig out, and you'll see yeah. it. Dave, explain what happens here in slow-mo. or Well, in this. Luis telegraphs this shot here. Nash read that perfectly. And Dave, the only guy I see able to play that very shot off the side wall is Paul Brady. I saw him do it yesterday so many times, and he has a way of hitting that shot where he not only can get it back but do something with it. I've never seen another player able to handle that spin off the side wall. And you'll see right here, Moreno, if he goes straight down the left there with Nash closing in, he wins that rally with that shot, but he ends up winning it anyway, and now will serve for the match for the second time. And this is usually where Luis goes to the right and he breaks it with a natural a reverse, which is his natural, but a reverse hook to everybody else on the planet. I've seen him go right down the middle here with a hard hop away. That's what I'm saying. It's a oh, reverse. Okay. Down the middle, reverse yeah. away. And he might come back with a natural 
in the same spot. And here it is, exactly what you said, a reverse away, and he wins it. Goes down the right with exactly what we thought he would, and he does it. Luis Moreno advances to the semifinals, defeating Dermot Nash here 11 to eight. But Dave, like you said, our 30,000th match, and have we ever seen anything like that? Luis, no. I mean, I can't but, remember seeing anything like that ever. But First I actually, game, I, know, I know it sounds bad, but I, for, if you're a Moreno fan, you yeah. have to say he did something a little bit different here. We've seen him down before yeah. where he didn't fight back and he just gave in. But he did, he did fight back this time. He fought back in the first game. He gave in on game two because I think he was being smart, like he's going to reserve his energy and just go for 11 points. That's more of an older man's thinking, and that's the first time we've seen Luis do that. And then he found himself down, I think, because Nash played better. But if you just look at the scores of these games, I mean, Luis comes back from 15 to 5, which you hardly ever see, wins that game. Then a lot of times when you see somebody come back from that kind of deficit, then they go on and win the second game easily because their opponent has been broken. This time it's the opposite. Nash comes in, goes up 21-3, 7 to, z to 2. And you're thinking, well, I guess he's got this under control. And yet Moreno comes back to score eight of the last, nine of the last 11 points of the match. Yeah, it was, um, it was pretty remarkable to watch if you're a fan of handball. Right. We're going to take a break. We have another one coming up right around the corner. In fact, it looks like it's Sean Lenning and Killian Carroll, which is going to be tremendous, Dave. I know you're going to leave for this match, and we have Jonathan Hingey taking your spot. That'll be a fun one as Luis Moreno defeats Dermot Nash 11-8 to in the tiebreaker, and now we'll go to the semifinals at the Simple Green U.S. Open of handball. We'll have another one right around the corner at racefreight.com. Stay here. <laughs> 